I've got a lot of expensive stuff in this studio, but no alarm. Clearly, I needed a modern security system. There are loads of benefits to being a full-time YouTuber, but there are a few challenges, chief of which, if you work in the tech space like I do, is kind of amassing all of this expensive gear. And the reason that's an issue is because you have to kind of keep it somewhere, and I keep all of my stuff in this studio. And until this week, I didn't have an alarm system. However, one of the benefits of being a tech YouTuber is that sometimes some very useful companies get in touch completely out of the blue. And that happened a few weeks back with Boundary. And Boundary is a UK-based company that has made a really interesting smart security system for your home. They got in touch literally when I was trying to work out what to do in terms of an alarm system for this studio. And I thought, well, if they're gonna send me one, let's give it a go here. They're also very kindly sponsoring this video, which means I can give you, my lovely viewers, a massive 45% discount off any pre-made bundle or custom-built kit from Boundary. To use that offer, grab the discount code in the video description and click the link. So Boundary is basically a complete home security system which links to your phone, be it an Android phone or an iPhone, and you can buy from Boundary's pre-built bundles or you can build your own. The bundles range from £200 to about £500, but Boundary are one of these companies that offer regular deals. And remember, you can get that 45% discount in my description. So basically, you pick the bundle that best works for your home in terms of the number of rooms that you've got and the number of windows and doors you want to secure. You can install it yourself. There's no hard wiring to worry about, but if you'd rather have Boundary install it for you, the installation cost starts from £199. And the kit is all very well built and looks nice in your home. I've got mine in the studio, obviously, but I'd have no problem putting this in my house. This is the hub, for instance, and you can see it's just a very kind of minimalist, simple, white design made of plastic but yeah pretty tough and although the hub connects to your wi-fi for the internet connection the actual sensors don't they use something called sz wave technology rather than wi-fi which is pretty solid in my experience the last piece of the jigsaw is the boundary app which will work on both android and iphones and that basically gives you all of the control over the system no matter where you are in the world now you do need a subscription to the monthly Boundary service. There's three tiers for this. The first one is called Light, and that is completely free. It gives you up to five users, unlimited sensors. That wasn't usually the case. You used to only get two sensors on the Light free version. They've now listened to user feedback and increase that to unlimited sensors, which is fantastic. And if you have the free tier, you do get a slightly cut down feature set, but it's still enough to get you up and running. Now, if you go for the smart subscription, that is 9.99 per month. That offers unlimited users and loads more smart features. And the top tier is called Pro, and that is 24.99 a month, and that adds annual maintenance, 24 seven professional monitoring, and soon this year, immediate police response, which I'll explain a bit later. I've never bothered with a full alarm system either in the studio or at home, simply because, I, one, I've always thought they're pretty costly, but secondly, because the installation really puts me off. However, with Boundary, you can genuinely, even if you're not particularly DIY-minded, you can do it yourself. Now, I've put a few shelves up in my time and I'm relatively handy, so I know how to wield a screwdriver and a drill, but that's pretty much all you need to do. So for instance, while the door sensors and the motion sensors can be attached with screws, Boundary do give you some very nice 3M double-sided tape and I actually used that for all of the sensors which was absolutely fine. That really cut down on the install time, the mess and having to drill holes in here which I don't really want to do anyway. And in fact the only time I needed to reach for the ladder and my drill was to put the siren outside and that was just three screws. Really really straightforward. Now in terms of the rest of the setup it's pretty much all done through the app on your phone. I did have an issue with the hub that I had originally. It's actually this one here. For some reason it got into some kind of strange boot loop and I had to get in touch with Boundary. Now, a little bit of advice. There is a reset kind of pinhole thing in the back here. Before I spoke to Boundary, I tried to reset it with a pencil. Don't do that. That basically snapped off inside here and rendered this completely unusable. Now the pencil thing was just my fault. Can't blame anyone but myself. The boot loop that this went into was a bit strange, but these things happen. And what is important, or far more important, is how quickly the support team responds. And Boundary were really good. I was very impressed with how quickly they got back to me, and like I say, how quickly they replaced this. But once your hub is up and running and connected to your network, you basically take each of the sensors you want to use, scan a QR code on the sensor with your phone in the Boundary app, and name the sensor, tell it which room it's in, done. 
The hub itself, I didn't bother mounting on the wall because again, I don't want to make too many holes in this studio. So instead I put it onto a stand that you can get from Boundary. So it just sits very nicely on the side table as I enter the studio. It is worth noting that if you lose power, the boundary hub goes into a battery saving mode, which lasts for 12 hours, I believe. And also there's an option to get a cellular connection for this. So if your Wi-Fi goes, it can still connect to the internet. And that internet connection is needed to notify you on your phone if someone breaks in or if you want to arm or disarm the system remotely. So the install was really straightforward. I barely swore once, I didn't hurt myself, which is unusual for me when I'm doing DIY. And if you do get stuck, thankfully, Boundary have got some really good tutorial videos on their website, so you can always check those out. One of the immediate things I loved about the Boundary system is the fact that everything, literally, everything can be done from your smartphone. You can arm and disarm the system. You can check the status of every sensor. That includes battery life and even the temperature of the room they're in. And you can even sound and stop the siren if you need to from your phone. Just a note on the siren, it is really loud. It's satisfyingly noisy, which is, I suppose, what you want from a siren. You can even add multiple premises. So if you've got perhaps, I don't know, a couple of homes, if you're lucky enough to have that, or if you've got a home and perhaps a rental apartment or something, or a, or a couple of offices, you can add multiple premises premises to the Boundary app. So basically you can control your entire home security system from the palm of your hand no matter where you are in the world. And when I first left the studio after setting up the Boundary system, it was a really satisfying feeling because to be completely honest with you, since I first started renting this last October, I've not really had that peace of mind. Now Boundary has packed in quite a lot of interesting smart features. So for instance, there is a feature where you can set a partial alarm, which will basically only arm certain sensors. I don't really have use for that in here, but for example, if you have Boundary set up at home, it might be that you just want your garage to be secured. There's also a night mode, which again, I don't need here, but could be quite useful at home if you have exterior windows and doors that you want arming, but you don't want to arm everything inside the house. That would just mean that you can move around at night and not worry about setting off the alarm. It's also compatible with Google Home and but there's no compatibility with Apple HomeKit, which is a bit of a shame for someone like me who's completely welded in the Apple ecosystem. You can also set up personalized activity alerts, and Boundary gives some really good examples of this. The first one, which I really like, is the inactivity alarm. So if you have a certain room, for instance, maybe the kid's bedroom, where you wanna make sure they're getting up on time to go to school, you can actually set up an activity alert to alert you if there's no movement in that room at a certain time, so you know they're sleeping in and not getting up for breakfast. I quite like that. That could also be useful if you have a vulnerable person at home who perhaps isn't moving around the home where they should be. And you can set up multiple user accounts with different access levels if you need to. That's quite handy, for example, if you want to give access to a neighbor or a friend while you're away. And besides the normal pin number for arming and disarming the system on the hub, you can also get boundary key fobs, which you can give to people, and you basically just tap those on the hub and it arms or disarms the system. You can also set up geofenced proximity alerts. So if you leave your home and forget to arm your boundary system, you'll get a notification about it. They really do seem to have thought of most things that you need from a home security system. And later this year, they're even gonna add level one police response. And that will make Boundary one of the only smart security systems to offer that level of police response. They'll have full certification for it. Like I say, it's coming later this year, so I couldn't test it, although I'm not sure I'd want to test that and you will have to have a professional installation to get it up and running, but that is, well, that's a huge peace of mind. You might be wondering how I set up Boundary in this studio. Now, they sent me the medium package, which is a bit overkill, to be honest, for this studio, and what I've done, basically, is put two motion sensors in here on the studio floor, which is the, the second level in this studio, so there's one over in the corner over there and one over there, just to give enough coverage. I've then put one of the door sensors on my gear cabinet, which is just over there. That's where I store all of my you know, expensive lenses and cameras and things. And then downstairs in the kind of entrance area, I've put another motion sensor and a door sensor on the front door. Now, the only issue I've had with my front door is that it is recessed. So the door frame is here and the door itself is here. So there's a bit of a gap and these door sensors from Boundary have to be next to each other. So on mine, they're not, they're kind of like, detach from one another. Because of that, the sensor thinks it's open, which obviously doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to try and work out a way of bringing part of the sensor on the door forward so it matches up. That isn't really Boundary's fault, that's just the way the doors in this building are designed. Can't do much about that, but I think I'll probably pack it out with a piece of wood or something to make it work. So I'm quite lucky, I only have one entry point into this studio. 
that will be covered once I sort out the door thing. But in terms of the space in here, the motion sensors, my gear cabinet, everything that I hold dear is covered by Boundary. I've been really impressed with Boundary. That installation, which was really straightforward, that was the one thing I was concerned about. I think they've got the price right. I think the fact you can get that 45% discount by using my code and clicking the link, that makes it a bit of a no-brainer, really. Uh, but even if that wasn't available, I think, you know, it's not cheap. You know, you can spend a few hundred pounds on this depending on the size of your house. But the amount of peace of mind you get just from having everything on your phone, you know, having your entire home security system in the palm of your hand, I think that pays back quite quickly. You can spread the payments for the system via Klarna, and that is interest-free over, I think, 24 months. So they're doing as much as they can to bring down the cost and make it as digestible as possible. But it is right up my street. And like I say, Boundary really did get in touch at the right time. This does happen sometimes on this channel. I'm very fortunate for that to happen. But I think if you're looking for a home security system that you can control completely from your phone, that you can install yourself, that you don't have to do any kind of wiring to get up and running, and that gives you that ultimate peace of mind that when you leave your house, everything you hold dear is secured, I think Boundary is a fantastic option. So thanks again to Boundary for sending me the kit, sponsoring this video, and giving that great big 45% discount. Remember, just check out the code in my description and also click that link. Now, if you'd like to see more of this studio, keep watching for a link to my behind the scenes tour. Until next time, thank you as always for watching. I'll catch you next time.